Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm bringing you guys another Sony Vegas Pro tutorial, and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to get rid of the interlacing in your videos, or how to deinterlace your videos when you have lines going across your screen. So basically, a lot of videos I watch, especially a lot of people with non-HD videos, they have what are, and you guys have probably noticed this, but there's a lot of lines going across the screen with fast motions and stuff like that, and it's not like just playing out just straight video without the lines how it should be. So if you guys still know what I'm talking about, here I have something, Wikipedia, basically right here, this is interlacing. When you have the lines going, and it's again a little blurry, and the lines are going, and you have another little anagram right here. Basically, that's what interlacing is. And I'm going to actually, I have a clip here, and put it on best. And uh, today I'm just going to be teaching you guys a really quick tip and a really quick thing that can get rid of it. So I'm going to play this clip here, and you guys are going to be able to see the interlacing in my video of how it's blurry or you guys might be able to see you guys can see it's kind of those blurry lines going across it's not the easiest to see because Sony Vegas is lagging because I'm recording this but those lines are kind of distracting and it doesn't make it look as good as it can be so to get rid of them you have to blur them so I'm gonna teach you guys the simplest way the really easy way to get rid of them in Sony Vegas and it takes barely any time at all it doesn't sacrifice any quality I think it makes the quality look better so basically the only thing to do is go into properties and you can leave everything how you have whatever you have here and such like that and I forgot to mention but this does work in Sony Vegas I believe every single Sony Vegas as long as your Sony Vegas has properties and it has this part it works so pixel format doesn't matter I just have on 32 because for full colors uh, you're going to want full rendering quality on best motion blur type these are the two boxes right here that are the most important the motion blur type and the deinterlace method. The motion blur type you want to under Gaussian and you come down to deinterlace de method. When you first come in and you first bring it up, if you've not changed this, it's going to be set to none. Now, I use blend fields. I do not actually run an HD device that streams HD. I publish in HD, but I don't actually have an HD capture card. So I use blend fields. A blend fields works if you have HD2. I, I know I have seen a bunch of people that have HD quality and they still get the inter the interlacing in it and the lines so you guys still need to fix that out but I know I've watched a few setups for HD and uh, a few guys like to use interpolate fields instead of blend fields and interpolate fields seems to work just as well if not better for the HD stuff I find for my stuff since it's not HD it looks better with blend fields so your best thing that you're probably going to want to do is um, probably take like a 10-15 second clip try out blend fields with one, try out enter play fields with the other, upload it to your YouTube and then see how it looks. But like I said, all you gotta do is Gaussian, you blend fields, you push OK, and now when you run this and when you render it, it might actually now, I'm just gonna put it to preview auto, and it's not gonna show them now, but it's gonna run a lot more fluently. There's not gonna be any single lines when you publish it. As long as you do that, there should not be any lines. And if you guys are kinda, um, you, you don't like it that you blurred it and it makes it a little bit more blurry which is going to make it a tad bit more blurry just because you're getting rid of the lines you can come down in your video effects as I am over here on the left and you go to sharpen and you add a little sharpen in there and the lines still don't show up with sharpen I use sharpen for most of my videos just to sharpen up a little bit make it a little look at little make it look a little better so that's it guys that's a very simple way to get rid of all the lines in your videos the, the interlacing make it look a lot more professional and a lot more uh, fluent as a video so that's it guys if you guys want to check out my other Sony Vegas Pro tutorials I have a bunch of them out and uh, you guys can learn a lot of stuff from that so other than that just want to thank you very much for watching take care make sure you subscribe and I will see you guys later